Hi there, it's Mary Charlson here from 5MinuteMarketing.com. Today, I'm bringing to you the 10 consumer and marketing trends to be tracking for 2023. This is a bit of a teaser video for a more detailed blog post, which I've just shared over at 5MinuteMarketing.com. So I'd encourage you to have a look at that and to check out the links. I've broken this into five consumer trends and five marketing trends that make up that collective 10 things that we should really be tracking and having on our radar. So the first up in the consumer trends is the movement from we to me. Now, it may not be where we wish society to go, but it's where we need to go first following the pandemic, which really asked us to make so many sacrifices for the collective. This turn to focus on oneself, I think, is kind of a necessary stage of healing after all we've been through. The second one is fatigue and rebellion. Uh, consumers have been bombarded with crisis after crisis. We've got the pandemic, we've got political unrest, we've got war, we've got extreme weather events, and now an economic downturn. Um, they're feeling overwhelmed and rebellious. And so, you know, they're also resisting authority, restraint, digital surveillance, you know, collectively, you know, they just, they, they're also resisting this need for personal perfection. The third consumer trend is reconnection. Consumers are craving reconnection, both in person as well as local businesses where, that were there for them over the last couple of years. And they're willing to spend on those homegrown brands and support their community, local manufacturing, and generally anything that kind of triggers kind of intentional spending. But above all, they are seeking that human connection and interaction. The fourth consumer trend is we are segmented and divided in all new ways. Now, consumers were segmented and divided, you know, for the last couple of years, it sort of began out of the pandemic, but it's really kind of solidified uh, over this period of time. And now it's really kind of moving into 2023, where some of those divisions have actually become quite permanent. Uh, we're divided on risk tolerance now, comfort with ambiguity, state control, climate change, politics, you know, we're divided on virtual versus kind of back to the office work, online learning versus in school learning, you know, well, that division can be negative, there's also opportunity with new segments and unmet needs. The fifth consumer trend is living for the moment. Um, you know, after two plus years of constraint, consumers are now all about freedom, right? For many, that is defined as kind of the personal freedom, which is kind of where we look at that from we to me uh, trend. You know, live for the moment manifests as taking risks and chasing new experiences. Uh, travel and entertainment will continue to flourish into 2023, since we're still playing kind of catch up mode after this, the whole disruption. But it could be tempered somewhat by economics. You know, small pleasures will also have their day, especially as the economy falters. Now we take a look at the five marketing trends and add on to here. The first of those marketing trends is digital media regulation. Now increased kind of disinformation, personal data use for financial gain by social media platforms and the whole growth of platforms with ties to China, you know, think TikTok and their uh, kind of government influence with the Chinese government. These have all led to cries for more regulation around digital media. And then more recently, there's also Twitter with 100% control by Elon Musk with a huge global reach in terms of dis distributing information. You know, when we combine with the consumer trend of we to me and fatigue and rebellion, it makes for a pretty caustic mix. And so expect increased regulation all around, perhaps even a ban on TikTok in the US. No, not in 2023, but going forward in a two-year horizon, I all bets are off. The second marketing trend is around the changing nature of social media. Now we can blame this on the massive growth and popularity of TikTok, but pretty much all social platforms have shifted to what I call a discovery based content. So it was first made popular on TikTok, but we've got Instagram, we've got Facebook all going that direction, even LinkedIn to a certain extent. You know, an explosion of users have been, you know, kind of it has unsettled a lot of American based social media platforms with this, you know, with so many people going into TikTok. You know, currently they have 1 billion users a month. Instagram has 1.4 billion. Now, that doesn't sound like a, you know, like there's still kind of a huge spread of billions. 
but it's a remarkable uptake in a very short period of time. Um, you know, well, that, you know, it's, that is something which is driving this, uh, this concern, you know, obviously they're watching this development very closely and why people are so in sort of infatuated with the algorithm of content that is coming out of TikTok. And it really is based around this discovery based. And so the bottom line on this is that the change in how content is spread will have little to do with actually the number of people following you and, you know, and uh, the number of followers and, the, and, and, and it'll be more about the content that you're creating and its ability to catch on in, in when it's being shared out into discovery. Because discovery basically is the algorithm sending your content to people that are beyond who, who are actually following you. So this is going to massively impact organic reach and how you go after it, as well as the type of content created. The third marketing trend is artificial intelligence or AI being really kind of omnipresent. Now, you know, it's it's already everywhere. You know, we just don't see it. And so it's used for audience targeting, audience engagement, and even for content creation. But what we're going to see in 2023 is this whole explosion around AI being used for writing content. Now, you may have heard of Jasper AI. Um, it will help automate writing of marketing copy, sales copy, web content, Facebook ads, blog posts, SEO, you know, captions, video scripts, you name it. And although it kind of feels like the early days of putting Photoshop in the hands of everybody and saying, okay, you're now a designer, you know, it is a tool which will help accelerate this. Used well as kind of a baseline that you then, uh, you know, add in your personality, I think it could be a huge time saver. Jasper AI also can help create original images uh, and with just sort of input of descriptions of what you want. And so that will also open up this whole uh, area of visuals that we haven't maybe had opportunity uh, to, to get to before. So, you know, while it holds promise for creativity, I suspect it will generate a whole deluge of mediocrity initially. And so just know that this is what we're competing against. Fourth trend there in terms of marketing um, trends is consumer service void, or, or sorry, customer service void. Excuse me. It's all about consumers, but it is about the customer service void. You know, um, a positive customer experience can be some of our best marketing. And we know after these last two years, this is this is a ball that has been dropped. Let's let's face it. We can blame it on supply chains, you know, being broken, shifts in consumer behavior, shutdowns and regulations staffing shortages, whatever it might be, um, these have all triggered um, breakdowns in terms of customer service. You know, right now the bar is so low uh, in terms of customer service, and some would argue it's, you know, it's just common decency would be a good place to start. But many companies, um, you know, if you go out of your way to help consumers and have a human touch, this is the way that marketing and um, and customer loyalty will, will be gained in 2023. Two thirds of consumers say that companies need to do a better job at listening to them, right? Just listening, social listening, and then actually taking action. I would actually say of any of the trends listed in these top 10, this one is likely represents the most opportunity overall. The fifth of those marketing trends is called hidden communities. Now, communities can be in real life, uh, they can be online virtual, and they can also be a hybrid, you know, a little bit of both. Um, you know, most communities in the past have been discoverable in some way. Uh, the trend now is towards niche communities and groups which are harder to find. Um, think of them as like little islands, you know, kind of, of people out there protecting their own identity and the identity from others around them that they haven't yet vetted. Um, while this might seem like the ultimate revolt against marketers, it can also be the ultimate gold mine if indeed you earn the right to be there. So that is our top 10 trends to have on your radar for 2023. Check out the blog post for a whole lot more detail. I go into each of these top trends and I examine the questions of why is this happening and what does it mean for you in greater detail. Also for each of those trends, because I have a number of clients within the travel industry, I've done a bit more of a deeper drive dive in terms of practical applications uh, for the travel industry for each of those trends. 
as I said, it's an epic post. Make sure to go over to 5minutemarketing.com and or grab the link in the comments below.